Hi, District Governor David Warren here, thinking about Rotary membership. Why? Because on the Rotary calendar, August is always Membership and Club Extension Month. This is the time we should all be putting extra effort and focus on both new member acquisition and current member retention. Who's with me? Let's go! Come on! Ah! But before we begin inviting everyone we know to visit our clubs, we really need to consider what they're going to see when they arrive. I equate this with walking into my hardware stores. Taking the same path every day, it's easy for me to miss the gradual changes occurring. The paint that's starting to peel, the smudged window glass, or the floor tiles beginning to show some wear. What a dump. But a person taking the same path for the very first time would have a whole different perspective. That's precisely why I employ mystery shoppers, to give me the honest feedback I need for my stores to remain competitive. What kind of feedback would that same mystery shopper give if he or she walked into your club? I'd take a flamethrower to this place! I remember a time recently, while visiting another city, showing up at a club that could have just as easily been a stranger's class reunion. Few people were wearing name tags, no one greeted or spoke to me, and no one seemed to know the price of the meal or who to pay. I wasn't even offered a makeup slip. How do you think someone considering membership in that or any Rotary Club would have felt? Ah! I'm in a glass case of emotion! Before you put too much effort into recruitment, ask yourself what others see and feel the first time they visit your club. For many years, Rotary has been my thing, which often meant my wife was left behind when I did my Rotary work. Finally, this past year, I asked Lori to consider joining too. The way I looked at it, she has a whole different circle of friends than me, and most of them are potential Rotarians. Although her job as a teacher prevented her from joining my lunch club, she became a member of the Madison After Hours Club, which meets on Sunday evenings. Frequently, she and I attend together, making it a special kind of Rotary date night. Oh. Now, first date. Nope, he has a ring on. They both do. Mm-mm. Now, Mary? They're not Mary. You're sitting on the same side of the booth. That is not a married move. Showing off is what it is. The family of Rotary is now much more than a simple slogan. So would your spouse or adult child make a good addition to your or another club? How about a friend, a co-worker, or that new business owner who just moved to town? Nothing. I got absolutely nothing for sale. Have you shared the Rotary story with parents of the students you honor? or with the people who make presentations to your club? Great Rotary candidates are all around, but it's up to us to invite them to join. Next to finishing the job of eradicating polio, membership is without a doubt our single highest priority. It's so critical, we've scheduled a special membership summit in Wisconsin Dells on November 1st. This event will feature dialogue and discussion on a variety of important topics and is open to everyone best practices and success stories from other clubs will be shared, and there is absolutely no fee to attend. Please RSVP on our district's website. To RI President Gary Wong, the theme Light Up Rotary is a reflection of his desire to encourage Rotarians to bring light where there is darkness. But without continually attracting new members, that light will slowly fade. None of us can allow that to happen. Thank you for all you're doing as we continue lighting up our rotary together.